welcome back to Adrian's Chemistry Laboratory. And as you can see, we're not in my laboratory today, we're actually in my dining room. Uh, a very nice chap uh, texted in called Renal Credo, and he had requested whether we could show some of my microscopy equipment. And I thought I'd take this opportunity to show off some of the uh, collection that I've uh, had for a number of years. And I thought what we'll do, we'll start off by showing you some of the antique equipment, and then move later on in the second part of the video, uh, to show you some of the stains and dyes that would be used and maybe how you could start up uh, your own little microscope laboratory itself. So I'm going to take you around and I'm going to show you uh, first of all uh, some of the apocryphy uh, cabinets that I have and I've modified them really uh, for travel because I would hopefully go to France uh, before Covid every year and uh, I used to bring them with me so I could uh, look at plants and things on the microscope and I would have filled them with certain uh, chemicals and dyes and things that we'd have used such as uh, Canada balsam and that's simply a, a resin that is used uh, for making your own slides to preserve specimens because it keeps the air away from them, stops them drying out. There's another substance called gum arabic uh, which is mixed with alcohol and water and another one called gum dimmer which we would use also in oil painting varnishing. So those would be resins and things that would be used uh, on a microscope slide. And here I have just here a little um, collection of Victorian slides. And companies would have made these up from ferns and uh, put in little specimens such as the spores from ferns so that uh, enthusiasts could have looked at them uh, under the microscope. And uh, some of these here are labelled 1870, so they're very old indeed. And here, this is another little box that I would use, and in it I would use liquid stains. Uh, for instance, there's glycerine, uh, which would be used again to preserve specimens. Uh, some picric acids, so thankfully it's in the liquid state, not the explosive solid form. And uh, eosian uh, dye and alcohol. And that would be a very useful little kit to bring out. Um, and as you can see in here, they're beautifully laid out. Um, if I just pull this one out here. You can see, look, it's even got a little thumbnail and it slides out beautifully to reveal some microscope slides. And in them uh, are some lovely little cover slips. And these are very, very fine pieces of square glass. And what we do is to make a slide is simply put the specimen uh, that you want to look at on top of the glass slide. And then we would put either a stain or a liquid such as glycerine and slowly drop that little cover slip down. Uh, and that would be a temporary slide. But if we wanted to preserve the slide, like we have seen there in the little Victorian slides here, um, we could put a, a, a ring of bitumen or a little zinc ring, which they're using here, and then we could put a piece of uh, Canada balsam, which uh, had been dissolved in turpentine. And here we have some something very similar. It's called Venice turpentine. It's a very sticky, varnishy substance. Now. In modern times we don't use these really, and um, this is what people had back in the uh, 100 years ago. Now we can make microscope slides using something very simple such as super glue, which you can buy a pack of three of in <laughs> somewhere like Pound Stretcher. Now if you're interested in microscopy, uh, I have a lovely little book here, uh, which is about 1860s, uh, written by a man called Hogg, and as you can see it was presented uh, to a man uh, in uh, King's College, uh, London, all those years ago, and has some beautiful plates in it. But it's not just a beautiful book, it is actually a very useful book, uh, because it's sort of the beginnings of microscopy whenever it was a hobby, and explains the principles of it, and it shows some very beautiful instruments, which I'm sure somebody, if they had a lot of money, could still pick up in somewhere like Portobello Road, London. Uh, I was able to pick up this little microscope uh, very cheaply. Uh, it's a little hobby microscope, and as you can see, uh, it comes with a little travelling box, and that's exactly what it was used for. It would have been somebody in the Victorian era that wanted to go in and look at maybe ferns or something under the microscope in the field. So it's very beautiful indeed. We'll put that back safely. And over here, uh, I'm going to show you in the second part of uh, the video uh, some of the stains and little bottles that I have. Uh, used to stain some of the specimens. So, thank you for watching.